In this video, we're going to talk about a feature that Sage calls Broadcast Invoices. So what that means is that you can enter an invoice once and send it to multiple customers. So this is ideal when you have things like um, dues or maintenance agreements and service plans, things like that, where you're sending an identical invoice to more than one customer. So this is really easy to do. We're going to go into Sales Invoice, and we're going to fill out... Um, fill out this invoice, you know, mostly just the bottom half, exactly the way we want it to appear. And then the customer ID will get filled in later. So I'm just going to put in some uh, weekly landscape service here. And then I'm going to come up to the, copy, the, the arrow next to the copy button and click uh, send to multiple customers. Of course, I could have added more detail on the invoice. It doesn't have to be just one item. But just to keep things simple, we left it at that. Now I can filter here by a range of customer IDs or names, by their uh, active or inactive status, whether a customer, prospect, or both. I can filter by zip codes. You can do some geographic filtering um, by customer type, um, by forms delivery methods. So uh, their standard forms method is print, email, or print and email. And you can filter by sales rep ID. And they also give you the ability to filter by any of the five custom fields. Of course, these names will be different in your company since these are custom fields. But I'm going to use this lawn care service field. And we're going to say we want to send this to anyone where lawn care service equals yes. So I click OK there. And now I got a list of all the customers who have lawn care service. And so you'll notice that the top one here is not checked like all the others are. And that's because this customer apparently is on credit hold. So even though they show up in the list, they were automatically deselected. If you want to invoice them anyway, you can just recheck their box. And the count of invoices and total dollars adjusts automatically and if there's anyone who's supposed to be skipped this week I could uncheck those too. Now at the top here I'll set an invoice date. The due date will get calculated based on the the default terms for each uh, each customer and if I need to go back and further refine my filter I could hit the return to filter screen it would bring that up again and if I canceled, then it would just back out and dump the selection. But I'm going to create. And so it actually went out and created all those invoices uh, that quickly. So let's click the View Summary button. And this just gives us a short report you know, listing each of the invoices that got created. So if you wanted documentation of what you'd created, um, you could print that out to show your batch. We'll close that. Um, if I were to close this, then my invoices, since they've actually been created, would still be sitting out there waiting to be printed. Um, or I can hit the Print Invoices button, and it brings up this window, which is the same as if you were to go up to the Reports and Forms and Forms and, and Print Invoices that way. Um, so now I've got all of those um, all of those invoices here ready to be printed. Looks like a couple others got in there too, but they're automatically deselected so that we're printing just the ones that were part of this group. And um, yes, we have this pay online column too here. So if you were using uh, the integration with, with uh, Paya for credit card processing or with um, uh, Stripe or PayPal, I believe is the other one, then these invoices could optionally have a payment link in them so that... Um, you know, you, you could, with just a few clicks, you could broadcast an invoice and have the payment link in there um, so that your, when your customer pays it online, the, the payment would automatically sync back in. Of course, that's not a specific feature of broadcast invoicing, um, but it does show you how um, you could really shortcut this process a lot and save a lot of data entry time. Um, this also, if you're not familiar with printing uh, batches of invoices like this, this does work in conjunction with the um, the delivery method option that's that's uh, in the maintain customer screen. So each customer, you can set whether their default forms method is is print or email, 
and so then it will um, it will look at that preference and each of these invoices will either get printed or emailed or both depending on on that setting and so when you're ready you would just hit print and email and that would that would print off print or email the whole batch of invoices and that's it you would be done um, with all your invoicing that quickly so that's it that's all there is um, to broadcast invoicing it's uh, really simple and can save you a lot of time